All right, let's get into the women's Royal Rumble match. Now, uh, last year's Royal Rumble on the women's side, as far as surprises or any names that stand out that you would not maybe have expected, the names that pop out to me is Roxanne Perez, who she was in NXT at the time, she still is, Zoe Stark, who was still in NXT at the time, um... Chelsea Green, who really was just signed, so she really wasn't doing anything as of yet. Michelle McCool. I think a lot of people forget Michelle McCool was in the match. And that's really it. You know, when you look at the names, there really wasn't, you know, that Emma was in the match, but Emma really was there for a while. I mean, I'm looking at the list and nobody really stands out like, wow. This year, though, Obviously, the big name is Jay Cargill. We're talking about surprises now, like people that are not expected. I think Trish Stratus is definitely a possibility to Mm -hmm. be in that Royal Rumble. Naomi is returning. Oh, yeah. So Naomi is going to be in that Royal Rumble. Um, Do you think that there is any chance that WWE gets back AJ Lee and or Sasha Banks? I would go more with AJ Lee because not as recent as a few weeks ago, she was posting, you know, abdominal shots, pictures of her in shape at the gym. I don't know, you know, cryptic little sayings. Obviously, her husband is back in the good graces. Uh, I had heard that she was at the garden with uh, CM Punk that day when he got that little plaque from MSG and she was in such, you know, committed great spirits and uh like she was back with one of the girls in the locker room so it could i would go with aj lee more than sasha banks at this point uh but it could be no WWE. fuck it could be both you know what i mean uh but i would go if i had to pick one i'm gonna go with aj lee as a surprise entrance she's definitely uh you know in shape and and she, she's pr- practically there all the time with cm punk from what i hear so yeah i you know i think Lita would be a nice little surprise also since, you know, I mean, when Trish turned, you know, because remember the whole storyline, like Becky Lynch was with Lita, and then Lita got laid out, and then Trish Stratus took her spot and lost the tag titles, and then she clipped Becky Lynch, and then we had this horrible feud, which ended with an amazing cage match, which was, it saved it. Like, Lita never got any revenge. Like, when is, when is, are we supposed to just forget? Maybe we should, DT, because let's be honest, until that last uh, Hell in a Cell cage match, Hell in a Cell, whatever that was, with uh, Trish and uh, Becky, uh, that program kind of sucked, you know, with the, yeah. with the involvement of, uh, didn't elevate, what's her name? Uh, Zoe, God, Stark. Mike, I can't Butch. Zoe Stark. <laughs> Butch. Zoe Stark. <laughs> it didn't elevate the Butch. It didn't, uh, it didn't elevate her. It was only the last match in the final, you know, chapter in that feud, which seemed like it went on forever. Yeah. You know, Trish doing the promos and ring and the crowd not – more not wanting to boo Trish than thinking she was yes, cringe. I think she, yes, absolutely. Just, Trish just forgot how to be a heel because she's so fucking pleasant all the time. And I think she just couldn't turn on her heel mode. She was like in, uh, you know, trying to be like mean soccer mom mode, but it wasn't working. And the crowd's like, yeah, she's going to turn baby face again anyway. I'm not going to invest in booing her. Uh, until she told the, the guy at the crowd when she was getting in the cage to fuck off or something like yeah, that. It was yeah. caught on camera. I thought that was her only great heel moment, but she put on a great performance. But there. I thought it was sexy. I was like, you know, I kind of like her even more <laughs> after that. Yeah, I kind of like her. Cursing out the fans, I, I always enjoy that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, but yeah, she can, she, and obviously she's been on the uh, circuit and the convention circuit signing autographs. She's always posting, people want to see me return. You never know. She's dropping little cryptic things lately, Trish Stratus. So let's see. But Lita, you're right. The door was open for Lita, but. I don't know, DT. Did, did someone close that door and lock it? I don't it even know if it's still open like anymore. It, man. I yeah. mean, Royal Rumble, she wouldn't even have to do much. She just goes yeah. out there, does a couple of moves. You know, she don't even have to do that, you know, that moonsault, you know, because every time she would do it, we get a little nervous about it. But um, <laughs> uh, now, Sasha Banks, you know, I, I've talked about it in detail i'm sure kevin and i will be having some conversations in the near future once we have a little more direction and clarity of where she's going to end up um you know the thing with sasha banks that nobody reports and we've talked about it quite a bit is that she wants her brand outside 
of wrestling. She wants the Mercedes Monet brand. She wants a line outside of wrestling. And with WWE, it, there's a lot of legalities involved. There's a lot of paperwork that needs to be drafted up. There's a, and not only that, what people need to realize is that you can't just say okay to Mercedes Vernado and then she has her brand. That could set a precedent where you have other people in the company. Hey, why can't I have my brand? Why can't I have this? Or why can't I do this? And you don't want to put something out there where then you have to deal with other people. Like, why can she have that? But I can't. Um, and believe me, in the world of business, that happens. Um, in AEW, she could just say, Tony, I, I want my Mercedes brand outside of AEW. Okay. Well, yeah, DJ, that's it. You know, that reminds me, I remember Mick Foley told the story when he was Cactus Jack in uh, USWA, and he was just an independent guy. He wasn't a name or anything. He was going to an independent show on the East Coast, and he, by accident, got Don Morocco's contract and saw what Don was making. And Mick Foley called the promoter and said, why is Don getting this? And I'm getting like a quarter of that. He goes... Because Don is a notable big star, and you aren't. <laughs> so I, like, <laughs> I can so picture he, like Nick Khan I mean, saying that. I mean, that was funny. Mick Foley said it. it was funny. <laughs> you know, it, he said it was like uh, right after Don Morocco left uh, when he was doing the Rock character in yeah, uh, WWF, yeah. TV, and he went on the independent circuit. Mick sure. Foley, by accident, got his contract, and he called up the promoter to use it as a uh, like a tool to maybe get more money. And he basically told Mick Foley, he gets more money than you because he's a big star, and you aren't. Those, those, <laughs> and uh, that was that funny as hell. Those powder blue size 40 trunks that Morocco had. I was like, where's the lightning bolt? Remember when he had oh, the lightning God. bolt? And then he goes yeah, in the yeah. indie circuit, and he's got powder, like baby blue. Like, yes. you know, like the color blue, like it's a boy. Like, that's yeah. the color of the trunks that Morocco. I'm like, come on, this is like one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Like, yeah, I can't I take Morocco, you seriously. Yeah. Even in ECW, Snook, I didn't forget about you. And you're wearing baby blue tights. I'm like, yeah, you're not like crazy anymore so yeah i don't yeah <laughs> i don't know what i don't know what happened there but i think that that's et it's not a, it's not like she became wrestling's taylor Swift. no she became she, she became wrestling's taylor dane yeah you know i'm saying it's like that and dt you know who taylor dane is obviously sure, sure. Uh, we love her but she's no taylor swift you know there's a big difference of packing stadiums and packing nightclubs big difference so again there is levels to this i don't think uh, anybody, uh, honestly, DT, I don't know. I couldn't re- out maybe CM Punk maybe can demand that, but I think CM Punk owns the rights to that name clearly because he was, uh, you know, in AEW and he used the name. I don't know. I don't know what certain. Well, that's why I brought up the Warrior earlier. I'm not sure how these certain. Uh, licensing deals work and creative who created the character or is it you know the machine behind the character you could still use it because lord knows glenn jacobs still on the on the convention circuit dt dresses as kane he signs autographs as kane yeah sasha banks is not like oscar material as far as talent goes but she is the biggest women's free agent out there and with that comes a lot of value but because she's created this exotica about her, like she comes off exotic, she comes off as mystic, she comes off as, you know, a big celebrity now, she comes off that she should be on every red carpet, and for a little while she was with Naomi, until they didn't want Naomi around, you know, with all due respect, but now she wants to keep that identity and keep that brand outside of WWE, and WWE is not going to just say, well, Charlotte's injured, let's give it to her. You know, there's a lot of legal papers that have to be drafted up, and there's a lot of negotiation. And I personally think you don't, just like you don't put The Rock in WrestleMania 40 and fuck up Cody Rhodes for the last 18 months, you don't fuck up the other women just simply because Sasha Banks became available again. I I personally, we're talking about the Women's Royal Rumble now, and we'll get to the winner. I think um, Bailey will, in fact, win this Royal Rumble. I think Bailey will win. I think Bailey, everybody will believe that she is going to call out um, Rhea Ripley. And I think Damage Control might get a little bit cocky and, you know, almost. You know, EO Sky a little too arrogant. You know, and maybe Bailey's like, you know what? You know, and something happens where Bailey thinks, you know, hey, you know, I can. What if I did choose you? You know what I mean? And I think 
Bailey chooses EO Sky, obviously, and that's where Damage Control obviously will ultimately turn on Bailey. Bailey will become a babyface again. She takes on EO Sky at WrestleMania, and I think Bailey may in fact win that women's championship back. I I, I don't think I think Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley's confrontation last week on Raw to me gave away that she ain't winning. Because when Becky said she's going to win the Rumble and face her at Mania, and Rhea Ripley said, I'm rooting for you more than you're rooting for yourself, like, that promo should have been cut after she won Mania. I mean, won the Rumble. You know, I I think the last two years, Becky Lynch has shined in the the, uh, War Games. She came back last year at War Games, and she did a couple of moves, and she was the standout. This year, she was in War Games again. I think Becky Lynch is better suited to win the Elimination Chamber, and then she could challenge Rhea Ripley for WrestleMania. But I don't think Jay Cargill is winning this. I think Jay Cargill, if she's in this Rumble, she'll get eliminated by like five or six women, maybe even ten women. Like the uh, only way Jay Cargill got eliminated was because six women had to eliminate her. Who do you think is going to win the? Who are you going with with the women's Royal Rumble? <clears throat> uh, you know the Bailey thing. I'm kind of. I'm not a big Bailey fan. I mean, I she definitely <laughs> has to turn babyface, but there doesn't seem to be this clamoring of people like on the edge. Oh, when they going to jump agree. Bailey? She's going to retire. I just don't. See, I think Bailey's kind of ice cold now, in my opinion. I just don't see the fans really into her. You know, like when someone's about to be jumped out of a faction, they get cheered. I mean, when Virgil was starting to get cheered, when Ted DiBiase was really mistreating him, like you could, it's like he's getting there. The fans are getting behind them. The breakup is coming. Sami Zayn, you know what I'm saying? Same thing. But Bailey. Being on the outs, you kind of know the four of those uh, other damage control are conniving and plotting and planning behind Bailey's back. Bailey's on her way out. Even if Bailey doesn't know it, uh, she's not only not the leader, but they're going to, Dakota Kai is getting ready to take over this whole thing any minute now. But I don't see the excitement of it. I see, totally see a storyline, as some of the guys in the chat were saying here, of uh, it's a good segue for Sasha Banks to come back and save and help her friend, and then they'll be good guys. But by the way, I like Sasha better as a heel than a babyface if she does come back. So if she's like a forcible babyface by helping Bailey by proxy, if Bailey goes, I, I don't know if Bailey goes ever back to being a hugger or anything like that. But I don't know. I guess I I gotta see Bailey become a certified babyface and see how the crowd responds to her before I believe that she's going to be a hot item again. Uh, you know what I mean? I I, I, I don't know, DT. I just don't. Bailey's not hot right now. I just, I, you know, she was. I, I just don't see it. I mean, I don't know who else. You know, with Charlotte out now. Someone steps up. Obviously, that's Bailey. What about Bianca um, Belair? Bianca Belair. I was just getting to that. Bianca Belair would be my other choice. You know, they got the the show on. Uh, uh, was it Peacock now? Uh, Hulu. Uh, with, Hulu. Hulu. I'm sorry. Yeah, and I just got rid of Hulu too. Uh, <laughs> with her and her husband doing like a kind of a, 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 yeah. a, a Mr. and Ms. kind of thing. Yeah. And I like and I like uh, Bianca and her husband Montez as much as I like Ms. and Maurice. So I, w- I definitely can see that being a hit. They're very likable people. And that would put her in the spotlight and maybe Bianca gets a repush after dropping the title the way she did. She's got unfinished business. Still very dominant. She beat Bailey in a dominant way a couple weeks ago on TV. DT when uh, damage control refused to interfere and they just let Bailey get beat. Yes. Uh, so yeah, Bianca Belair is going to be my pick. That's ba- okay. I went around the block a little bit here, but Bianca That's Belair is, is my pick. I just keep thinking to myself, it's Philly, and I just I see those Philly fans going, "Hey Bailey, ooh ah, I want to know." You like they're going to serenade her. I just see it. I think so. Yeah. I it's Philly. I just see Philly doing that shit. I mean, because Philly, even if it's goofy, I think Philly would do it. Like, I could envision that already. Like, that crowd, it's, it, it'll almost, it'll almost sound like when they serenade Seth Rollins. Like, when you hear that echo in the building, I think they're going to do that to Bailey. I, I'm going to stick with Bailey, but if I was forced to not choose Bailey, I would go with Bianca Belair as well. I, I agree with you 100%. But I think we all agree that, um, Jay Cargill ain't winning this. It, it no, would make no, no sense. It would make no <clears throat> sense. Oh, and the fans, they want to, and by the way, I think 
they have absolute plans to have her be a baby face. I don't think they want her to be a heel. And if she wants something like this, she would get it worse than Roman Reigns got it uh, years ago. Yeah. So, because she hasn't proven anything. She just uh, walks around on TV. Listen, the fans are all into that proving ground shit. So it's just like, and she doesn't have it like that in WWE. If they made her win and raised her hand as a baby face, Philly's going to shit on her. Yeah, and not only that, I mean, how much could she really showcase during a Royal Rumble match? You yeah, know, like throwing it's, people it's over the top rope, idea. you know, does it make her like, uh, oh, yeah, she's done really well in the, develop, in the in the performance center. Like, she really throws those people over the top I, rope really well. Right, I, I can't think of Triple H making a monumental mistake like that. That no. sounds like a Vince mistake. No. Uh, so, so, yeah, DT, you might be listening. I'm not